Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing ah, a video that you guys have been requesting for a while. No, it's not my entire perfume collection just yet. It is my top 10 fragrances for life. I'll be honest, I thought it was going to be a, a lot harder to pick them, but honestly, from 1 to 8, I was pretty solid. I knew which ones I was going to put in here. And then it got a little difficult with the last two. But I'm so, so excited to show you guys the 10 that I did select. I was actually waiting for one particular fragrance to come in the mail so that I can include it in here because I definitely wanted it in my top 10. I'll probably be doing this video every 6 months to every 12 months because I try out a bunch of perfumes and um, switch them up. And then, you know, ones become more favored than others but these have been my go-to for months and months and i absolutely love them so let's get right into this video if you are new to this channel please go ahead and subscribe join the family i know you want to subscribe i've been seeing the numbers okay 30 percent of you guys aren't subscribed but you are watching the videos every single time hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. So I'm not going in any particular order. These are all definitely my favorites. I use them all the time. And some of them are fairly new, but they've already, you know, become a part of my top 10. So I'm just gonna grab as I go along. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. So first one that I'm gonna talk about is this beauty over here. Angelique Noir from the House of Guerlain. This is one of my all-time favorite vanilla scents. It's such a unique vanilla because there is this beautiful greenness from the Angelica, and it's just gorgeous. It really sits on the skin beautifully, and if you've never tried it out, this is definitely one that I always say definitely try it because it's such a suave fragrance, super long-lasting, very high quality, feminine, a little sweet. Just when you first open it up, it is quite fresh, uh, spicy, peppery, because it has pink pepper in here, I believe. And then in the dry down, it's more of that vanilla, the Angelica, and the wood notes. It still remains sweet and feminine and really, really airy. Um, this is a scent that I can wear on a lot of different occasions. I don't feel confined to it only evening or only a special occasion. It's definitely one that I can wear pretty much all day every day and it's worth the hype because it's very talked about and everyone wonders if it's worth it. To me it is because it's a unique scent. It's vanilla but vanilla done in a very unique way and it's super super high quality because it's so long lasting. You really need a tiny little bit of this. I've already put quite a dent in this fragrance because I use it a lot. Even when I'm not wearing it I just like to stop by and give it a nice sniff let's go into something a little bit more fresh and one that I haven't spoken about on my channel um, that much really I think I've only mentioned her in one of my videos but this past week I don't know what happened but I started wearing this fragrance almost every single day uh, when I woke up when I went to bed and it just smells so good lavish and it's gorgeous so this is Prada La Femme and you guys can see this dent right here was made in the last week, I want to say, because I've had this fragrance for a couple of months now, and I never really gave it a lot of attention until recently, and I just fell in love with this scent. It's very, like, soapy, clean almost, a little sweet. It's feminine, it's fresh, and it has this very sophisticated vibe to it. This fragrance consists of a lot of floral notes, but when I smell it, it's not super like florally, like old school floral. You will get a little bit of a two bros vibe. I'm not sure if two bros is in here, but I do get a little bit of a two bros vibe. I know there is incense and vanilla in here. What a surprise. I love fragrances with vanilla. And it just smells... It just smells lavish to me this smells like you are put together you are pleasing you don't always have to dress super over the top you can dress very casual but still really well put together oh 
It smells like someone that has a lot of money but doesn't like to show it off too much. Just a little bit. This is Mon Guerlain from Guerlain and it is stunning. This is a really beautiful vanilla lavender scent. It's a little powdery. It's a little aromatic and it just... It smells like a classy lady. It's not too mature in my opinion. I feel like a lot of different age groups can definitely pull this one off. Mm, the, it smells super comforting. I think it is definitely the lavender. It just soothes you and smells absolutely gorgeous. Even in the dry down, I still get the lavender. The lavender is part of the top notes. I believe it's lavender and bergamot, so it does have a fresh opening, but after it dries down, the lavender still lingers on, which I love. And the middle note consists of more floral notes. And then in the base, we definitely have more like woody and benzoin and things like that. There is patchouli also, but I don't find that the patchouli is super heavy and off-putting whatsoever. Me, I personally don't mind having patchouli in my fragrances. I know a lot of people don't like patchouli, but I'm okay with it. And it just smells so elegant like when i smell this scent it just reminds me of the word elegant effortless beautiful this is a gorgeous scent if you are a bride it's a gorgeous signature scent it's an all year round fragrance and like you really can't go wrong i don't know anyone who dislikes mongrelon because it's just so pleasant to smell it's gorgeous 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 so now let's go on to a gourmand which i absolutely love my gourmands but i'm very specific with my gourmand scent surprisingly even though i love that category so much i don't own a ton a ton a ton of gourmand scents because i like specific ones this is one of my all-time favorites and it's a heavy hitter this is from Mugler and it is Angel Muse honey I uh, I use this so much over the winter it is everything that hazelnut note in the middle is so overpowering but it mixes really well with like the patchouli in there too this is definitely heavy on the patchouli but I still love it the opening is fresh. It's a little zesty and spicy because it has, I believe, the lemon in there and the pink pepper. Mm, 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 mm. It smells delicious, like absolutely delicious. And I think all the notes in this fragrance combine really well. You definitely smell all of them. When I spray this, the opening, I'm getting the lemon where it's super zesty and fresh and, and loud. And then I also get that spiciness hitting my nose. And then the hazelnut just spreads through and takes over. And then you get a little of that patchouli. And then the last note is some kind of wood, I believe. But it just, ah, uh, it smells so good. It leaves a gorgeous, gorgeous trail. And definitely people will compliment you on this because it just smells so delicious. I mean, what man doesn't want her woman to smell delicious? This is Alien Essence Absolute and wow. I have the tiny, tiny little bottle, but I already found a backup and um, I have it in my drawer because this sadly was discontinued. I don't know what they were thinking because this is a gem within the alien flankers. This is gorgeous. Like I definitely prefer this over the original alien. It's warm, it's amber, it's vanilla, it's sensual, it's sexy, it's a little deep, um, a little mysterious. It's very alluring. It's just gorgeous. It has this creamy nature to it. And it smells so sophisticated. Sophisticated and sensual. It is absolutely stunning. If you can get your hands on Alien Essence Absolute, I would definitely recommend you getting this. If you love amber, warm scents, this is stunning. You still get the alien dna within this fragrance it's not completely gone but i feel like just the warmth of that amber and the way they really creamed this up and made it super lavish and a little bit deeper just transformed the fragrance completely and 
created this magic that I can wear every single date night if I want to. It's, I love this for evening time. I love this for more colder days, but I can definitely wear this during the summer. I don't think it becomes coiling or too much on my skin. Oh, I mean, it's gorgeous. The next one is definitely in my top three for sure. It is absolutely stunning. I know I said I'm not going in any particular order, but this is special. This is gorgeous. This kind of opened my eyes to the niche world of fragrances and um, I definitely wanted to dive in and explore more. This is Parfums de Marley Zalina. So everyone definitely talks about this fragrance a lot and for all the right reasons. She is absolutely gorgeous. The rhubarb note in here is everything. Mm, it's creamy, it's velvety, it's intoxicating, it's alluring, it's sweet, it's beautiful, it's feminine. It is a gorgeous scent that every time I spray, it makes me think of a bride. Like, it's just a very beautiful scent that, mm, it's super distinct. If someone is wearing this, you know it is Delina. If you're familiar with the fragrance, of course. It just smells so lovely and absolutely divine. And I don't know, some people find it too heavy. I, I just, I can't understand how you can find this too heavy. It is such a gorgeous, creamy fragrance that just gives you a little bit of that tartiness. It makes you want more. I love this fragrance. And this one, every single time I wear this out of the house, I will receive compliments after compliments. Someone will stop me to ask me, what am I wearing? Please write the name down. I need to get it right now. This is definitely like a, it grabs people's attention because it's very unique. It's not a scent that you can find just everywhere. It's not a common scent. They really did develop this beautifully and create magic. I absolutely, absolutely love love this fragrance so the next scent that i'm going to talk about is one that is very sexy you guys know that i love my sensual sexy scent this is one of my favorite favorite sexy scents that i can wear every single date night and just feel absolutely gorgeous in this fragrance like i'm a i'm gonna I'm put it down i'm gonna seduce and i'm gonna secure the bag this is tom ford's noir pour femme Oh, guys, mm, this is another stunning gourmand fragrance. But to me, this is not, it's not like Angel Muse where you get that distinct uh, gourmand note with the Nutella in here. This, oh, hazelnut, I should say. This one is like, it's, it's, it smells gourmand, but it's done such a, sophisticated way I know there's like a note in here that's like a an Indian dessert that gives it that gourmand touch um, actually one of my subscribers pointed that out to me thank you so much definitely smells like some sort of like dessert from a different country and you know India I can like like now when I smell it I can definitely get that vibe but it is gorgeous and the notes in here you really can pinpoint them in my opinion because it opens up to a very fresh, fruity um, scent. It has orange. I, ha I believe it has bitter orange, bergamot, and I think ginger, if I'm not mistaken, in the opening. And so it's quite fresh and a little spicy with the ginger. The base notes, or the middle notes, uh, are mainly uh, floral notes. But then the base is where you're going to get your vanilla. And I believe there's amber. There's wood in here. And then, I don't know, there's another note that I really don't know what it is, but... Oh, this transforms my mood. It's gorgeous, it's intoxicating, it's breathtaking, it's addictive, it's gourmandish, it's feminine, but feminine done in such a perfect way. It's not your sweet, sweet girly feminine. It is sophisticated, mysterious kind of feminine. Ah, oh, this is gorgeous. I, I find this one 
is definitely a safe blind buy for me with the Tom Ford fragrances. A lot of these fragrances are not safe blind buys. They are definitely hit or miss, so you want to be careful. But with Noir Pour Femme, honey, if you love a great, unique, gourmand, sensual, sexy scent, you can't go wrong with Noir Pour Femme. So the next scent that I have to talk to you guys about is one that has gained a lot of popularity in the uh, fragrance world and it's one that I was waiting for to come in and I absolutely am obsessed with this fragrance. I have been obsessed with this fragrance even before owning it, okay? I remember going to um, Saks Fifth Avenue and getting a little sample of it and I was blown away blown away i totally got where the hype was coming from and i just knew that it had to be a part of my collection and it has been in my top 10 ever since i just smelt the sample <laughs> this is none other than mfk baccarat rouge okay this is stunning baccarat rouge 540 let me let me say the entire name it's gorgeous. Guys, the scent, whoever tells you it's hyped up for no reason, it's not worth it, is lying. It smells luxe. It smells rich. It smells divine. So the opening of this fragrance is just two floral notes, saffron and jasmine. Uh, it's not a lot going on in here when you look up the notes online. It is very kind of simplified, in my opinion. It's not bombarded with a bunch of different notes. But the blend of the fragrance is absolutely stunning. Like, so, so beautiful that you really can pinpoint which note goes where, what is distinct, what is not distinct. It is just absolutely a divine fragrance to enjoy it has a beautiful sweetness to it it's creamy but then again it's a little spicy it's a little fresh it's a little woody it's a little bit of everything which is kind of crazy it's one of those scents that's very very hard to describe in my opinion but it smells really just intoxicating it's like a scent for everyone that wants to feel that sophistication that luxe feeling Oh, it, it, it's gorgeous. It is absolutely stunning. So the next fragrance that I have to talk to you guys about is one that I am obsessed with. It is absolutely stunning. I heard about this a lot on YouTube and I had to get my hands on it. I actually thought it was discontinued, but it, it, it is not. This is YSL Manifesto and Oh, I can't believe you can't find this in the store, like actual store. You have to order this online. It is gorgeous. It is a scent that I just love to wear every day if I could. It's vanilla. It's airy. It's fresh. It's a little sweet. It's feminine. It's elegant. It's not too serious. It's a little, you can definitely pull this off on a casual setting, casual outfit. But then again, you can dress her up really easily and make her seem super extravagant. Mm, I love, love the scent. So the scent opens up really fresh and green. There's green notes in here. There's bergamot in here. And I believe black currant is in here too. Mmm, it just smells so good. The base is really beautiful. There's tonka bean, there's vanilla, there's a woody note in here also that's really beautiful. And it just smells so, so good. Like on my skin, this develops really beautifully. The green notes get toned down. They're not as loud and as predominant, but they still linger in there. Um, and then it becomes a little bit more powdery, a little bit more sweet with that tonka bean. And it just deepens up really nicely, but it's not like a heavy scent whatsoever on my skin. I still find it super fluffy and gorgeous. <sighs> I just love it. The opening is gorgeous. The opening is super fresh and it kind of reminds you of like a wet spring day. Like just the beginning weeks of spring. It kind of reminds me of that. But then it dries down a little bit more deeper. Like you're warming up. The weather's warming up. The flowers are opening up. And it just, 
It creates this really gorgeous, elegant, addictive scent that you just want to wear every day. So we are on our last fragrance and this one is a fragrance when I want to feel a little casual but still have that like uh, expensive vibe. I want to feel like I'm walking into a garden and I just smell super clean and fresh but still a little sweet with floral notes. This is a fragrance to me that is quite unique and I just love it. It's so intoxicating. This is Balenciaga's Flora Botanica. Ooh, wow. Gorgeous. One of my favorite, favorite blind buys. I had no idea what this was going to smell like. I went based off of reviews and watching Demi Rowland's video. This is where um caught this is where it got my attention. And when I got this in my hands, mm, I was so in love. It just, it smells fresh. It smells green. It smells floral. It's intoxicating. It's very potent. A little goes a long way. And I just smell super classy, clean, casual at the same time because it's not a scent that I feel like it's super duper serious and super elevated but there's something about this that's very very unique I've said this before there is a cannabis note in here but to me it doesn't smell like cannabis honestly it smells green it definitely smells green but not specifically cannabis or the way they blended it toned down that cannabis note that gives you more of that green fresh element but not so much a heavy cannabis and it just smells so good it smells really really green and fresh and like a garden like a wet garden that's what I get from this one and it's definitely quite lavish in my opinion and it's one that can definitely be a signature scent because it's appropriate for any time of the day, any occasion, any time of the year. I can pull this off for sure. It doesn't matter if it's super hot or super cold. I feel like it sits on the skin so well and just gives you a really fresh vibe, like really, really fresh, really clean Oh, It's gorgeous. It's super gorgeous. It has a little bit of a zesty vibe to it too definitely green you have to like green no I wouldn't say you have to honestly because I'm not the type of person that loves super green notes but this one surprised me it really did surprise me so it might surprise you even even though you may not be into super green notes you might really really enjoy this one it it's it's stunning I love it that is it for my top 10 for life I hope you guys enjoyed this video and None of these came as a super surprise because I've talked about every single fragrance so many times on my channel. Like if you go on my other videos, you will hear me mentioning these fragrances except for Prada La Femme. This one um, really caught my eye the past couple of weeks and I just fell in love with it and can't see myself living without it. So I had to put it in my top 10. I want to hear from you guys. I want to know what are your top 10 fragrances for life and out of the 10 that I mentioned, which ones do you have? Which ones do you love? Or even which ones you don't love so much i want to hear from you guys thank you so so much for watching if you're new hit the subscribe button like button comment down below and i will see you guys on the next video ciao